It all began with one man dancing alone around the UK. Now hundreds are joined at school teacher Ben Hammond in raising awareness on the lack of freedom in Burma. Wearing a pair of headphones with the music of their choice, the joyful protesters dance away in silence to the streets of bars in London. At the first free to dance get together, anyone could get involved. The be looking crowd wants to spread the message across and with the attention of all kinds of Londoners. A world shaking to the beat of heavy paint clothes, the UK England, we're free to do what we want. We're free to dance. So we're out here raising awareness, raising funds. Their money will go to a charity called Learn Burma. It will officially launch in six months' time. It aims to build up a large team of teachers and students across the UK to bring education about Burma alive. This year-long campaign has started off with a free-to-dance event. The initiative is the first step to address a large audience. It has attracted a truly diverse crowd on an unusual day out. Parents have brought along their children and even world groomed professionals have dared to join the dancing group. Also different, you are connected by a mutual goal. Dancing around, the free to dance crowd has passed the message through the people on the streets. The man behind the initiative, Ben, says that there is a longer way of him to achieve the goals. He is planning to dance at the London Marathon in April, then he will go to the Glastonbury Music Festival before starting a tour across the UK in the summer. But Ben wants to challenge himself even further. Between the 11th and the 16th of October, I'm trying to break a world record for the longest ever dance in the world. So that's 125 hours, five days, I'll dance for consecutively. Um, and everyone will be invited to come and dance with me. And that, that way they'll raise a little bit of money for Learn Burma, the charity that is looking to open people's eyes to Burma. After the success in Britain, the Free to Dance movement is set to expand internationally. Alessandra Boromolo, City International.